It is fall time and we did a couple things this year. We've picked up our leaves and we turned off our sprinkler system. Now turning off the sprinkler system is not the problem. It is turning it back on in the spring. If you don't clear all of your sprinkler heads, dirt and grass will cover them and it may not have enough force for the actual sprinkler head to pop up through and start watering your lawn. You might have a big puddle of water. You gotta go through dig through the mud to try and find it so it can pop up and start watering your lawn. So we came up with a little design that you can 3D print yourself for free. Well, I guess it'd be a couple cents if you're gonna, you know, count the filament. We designed a little sprinkler head cover. It's a little hollow cylinder with some teeth so it can kind of dig into the ground a little bit. Um, but you dig around your sprinkler heads in the fall where you, when you know where they are. Put your sprinkler cover on there. We printed it in vibrant colors like green, purple, blue, something so you'll stand out compared to the dark green of the grass. You put that on top of it, and then in the spring, when it goes, when you go through to turn on your sprinkler system, the sprinkler head just kind of pops up, knocks the cover off from the water and it actually moving up. And then your yard should be clean, ready to go, ready to water for the year. We designed it last year. My dad said in the spring that it was really helpful. Didn't have to go through and dig out a whole bunch of sprinkler cut sprinkler heads. He just popped the covers off and then boom, he was ready to go. So we wanted to go ahead and share this with you as well. There is a download link at shoptusher.com if you wanna just get the STL file. If you're a little bit more uh, interested in the actual design of it, there's also an on shape link. That way, if you also have a little bit of a different design, and we have a sprinkler head in the corner of our yard, which is a little bit bigger, and I think a little bit taller maybe. So if you're interested in making a slightly different design, there's an on shape link, you can go in there, change a couple of variables in the variable table, make it taller, wider, make it thicker maybe, if you wanna have more you know, rigidity. Whatever you'd like is up for you to customize. Hopefully this helps you out. If you have any questions about it, leave it in the comment section down below. If you happen to use it and maybe you make a short about it or you make an Instagram post about it, be sure to tag me and share it with me so that way I can see it and let me know your thoughts about it. And that's about it. That's all I have. If you're interested in more practical prints, we're making a video on the truck bed organizer and also my first ever camera accessory, the spinning shoe. I gotta work on that, but it lets you swivel your microphone around. It's pretty sweet. And I went through a lot of design trial and error. So if you're interested in those videos, they'll be here whenever they come out. For now, this is what YouTube thinks you'll like. Thank you very much for watching and take care.